Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think this will be a fairly short video. It's, it's kind of a, an announcement um, about a, a kind of a new approach or um, um, attitude that uh, I'm kind of forced to adopt uh, as a YouTuber. Um, this is 2016, so coming up June 23rd, 2016, will be eight years on YouTube. And during this time, uh, it, it's been a wonderful experience in many ways, but also horrible experience in, in many other ways. My, uh, my purpose on YouTube was to uh, declare the good news that Jesus Christ offers everyone salvation and eternal life in heaven as a free gift, the gospel. And I wanted to um, not only tell people the good news, but provide answers if, if they had questions or doubts. I wanted to win them over to Christ if possible. Um, so the, the first thing I felt I needed to do on YouTube was prove the Bible is true because I'm going to declare what the Bible says and of course many people will say, well, so what? You know, I don't believe the Bible. So my initial efforts on YouTube were uh, apologetics, uh, uh, proving the Bible is true. And, and that brought my initial uh, encounters uh, with people on YouTube were with atheists, people who did not believe God exists and mocked the Bible. It took me about six months to deal with these people and after that ran its course. Um, it, for now, for about seven years, uh, I've really been dealing with two problems. Uh, one are the people who uh, profess that they are Christians, but they, they don't believe the message of salvation that we find in the Bible. Uh, these people we label as Lordship Salvationists, Work Salvationists. Uh, um, they, they say that faith in Jesus for your salvation is insufficient, that more is required, and yeah, there's a, a kind of a variety of these people. They have their, they add requirements, and, and some of them the list is is quite long. They tell you you've got to do A B C D E F G. Uh, what they say are these uh, additional requirements uh, varies uh, from group to group, but they all uh, nullify the gospel by adding uh, requirements other than simply faith in Jesus. So uh, that's been primarily my, uh, my, my dealings here on YouTube to tell the people who are not uh, yet Christians, tell them the good news, and then also try to explain to those people who are under this spell, as Apostle Paul said, who have bewitched you, put you under a spell uh, that you do not believe the simple message of salvation, that it's a free gift, and instead you uh, believe that uh, salvation comes as a reward for your good works. So then I've, I've discovered that um, uh, even among the people who do agree that salvation is a free gift, that no religious works are required, even among those people, um, I found that there was another, a third problem. And it, this is a very serious and, and a, um, a pandemic problem among even true believers. And that is that, that they raise minor theological questions and doctrines to the level of importance that if, if you don't agree on, even on these minor doctrines, that they... Uh, they will shun people and, and uh, um, 
really they divide over minor doctrines, things that we're, t we're told in the Bible that we should not be disputing and dividing over these minor questions. I won't make tell you all, all the different questions there are. There's, there's so many. Uh, but other than the, the main questions is, who is Jesus? Well, he's eternal God Almighty, manifest in the flesh as the Son of God. He's not a creature. He's eternal God. Um, and and uh, what is the means of salvation? It's a free gift offered to everyone by Jesus. Uh, you, require, you acquire it simply by your faith in him. And once you've received it, it's irrevocable and irreversible for any reason. Uh, so uh, salvation is by faith alone in Christ alone. And we are eternally secure uh, once we've received this gift. So... Uh, apart from those core doctrines of Christianity, then we have a lot of other theological subjects and questions that are interesting, and they are important in varying degrees of importance, but they do not rise to the level of importance that we would call them essential for, for salvation. So what I found is that there are... Um, there's a serious problem, even among true believers. The problem is dogmatism. Now, dogmatism is, is dog, being dogmatic means you say, this is essential. This you must get right. There's no compromising. There's no disagreeing. You've got to agree with me on this thing. That's being dogmatic. And I am dogmatic on these core doctrines. But what I found is that many true believers who agree with me on the core doctrines are being dogmatic on many other subjects that that uh, are, are not that important. So there's all kinds of arguing, dividing, and fighting over these minor doctrines. Uh, and there's uh, that's why in my statement of faith, the beginning of it is in essentials unity. We must unify around the essentials of Christianity, and then in non-essentials liberty. We must give each other liberty or freedom to uh, disagree on minor doctrines. We should be able to talk them out, learn from each other, not getting angry or impatient or intolerant with each other, but being way able, willing to listen, learn from each other uh, with an open mind. And I've, I've found that by adopting that attitude uh, over the years, sometimes um, I, I held a position and someone won me over to the other side because I was willing to listen. So, but I, I found that people who are willing to listen to the opposing viewpoint, these people are very rare and it's very, very unfortunate. Now, if you don't want to listen to the other side, that's, that's a, a shame. But if you are saying, I not only will not listen, but you're, you're, I disagree with your position and therefore uh, I, uh, I cannot even associate with you. That is, that is really, really unfortunate. So these are the kind of the history of, of the dealings I've had on YouTube. Uh, it seems to me, from my experience, that I've had, I probably, I, let's use a round number, I've probably had a hundred friends on YouTube. And when I say friends, I mean these are the people who, I've had a lot of private talks with them. I've given them my home phone number. We've talked for hours on the phone. We've talked for hours on Skype. We've done private messaging. And uh, I've gotten to know them quite well and, and I've developed a close relationship and I care about them. There's probably, I don't think I'm exaggerating to say there are a hundred people like that among the thousands that I've interacted with in a, on a, to a lesser degree. And of, of all these this hundred people, it se seems to me that it is inevitable that there comes a point where you discover a disagreement. And, and rather than having the attitude that I'm uh, asking you to have, to have, and that is give liberty to each other on minor doctrines, they don't really have, have that attitude. They are dogmatic, and therefore, out of these hundreds, hundred people that I, I, I've given them, 
hours and hours of my time and my love and my, my real sincere concern for them and their lives, it seems like one after one there reaches a point where there's a, a subject of disagreement and, and the relationship ends, not because I choose to end it, but because they cannot tolerate a differing opinion. It's, as I said, it seems to be almost inevitable. There are only a few exceptions of people I've known for a long time where the relationship has endured and we disagree, but we don't let the disagreements uh, interfere with our friendship and our fellowship. So, uh, I don't know, I just had another one just, uh, just recently, the other day, and this continues to happen. I've, I guess I've reached the point now, my conclusion is that I just don't want to continue developing these friendships with people and knowing that it seems to be inevitable, that I've, I've become really quite cynical and fatalistic about the, the final outcome. Is it, it seems doomed to end in that way. Uh, I've got other things in my, going on in my life that I enjoy. I've got uh, a wonderful wife and, and family and friends here uh, in Las Vegas and also uh, some friends on YouTube that I, I, I want to spend my time. I don't want to develop new friendships with people knowing that it's just, it seems like there's a Many people, almost seems like most people I meet here on YouTube are mentally unstable. Now this is this is kind of an argument that you get from a lot of uh, uh, atheists saying that well you're to to believe in something you can't even see you know something invisible just just to believe in that is is, uh, is there's something wrong with you mentally, uh, and so that's a charge that we've all been faced with from atheists, um, and of course. Um, I've always felt that, no, of course, there's, it doesn't mean that a person is mentally unstable just because they believe in something they cannot see. That's just what faith is. And yet, I finally have to agree that the vast majority of YouTube Christians I meet seem to be unstable in some way. They're like, they're, they're the slightest little thing and they change their doctrines and they're, they're yeah, I'm not against changing changing doctrines on these minor doctrines. As I said, you should be willing to listen and change your mind. If uh, there's a saying that uh, um, uh, who but a stubborn fool would hold on to their error once it's been exposed? So if you listen. And, and you're, you're, you're taught by someone that your position is wrong and you listen and you, you end up saying, well, they're right, I was wrong on that. We, should, don't want, we don't want to be stubborn fools. We just admit, okay, I was wrong, and now I have a different position. But we cannot compromise or, or be like blowing in the wind when it comes to the core doctrines of Christianity. So, but so many of these people seem to be mentally unstable. They're they're here today, gone tomorrow. They're back and forth. They're a believer. They're an unbeliever. They're, uh, and uh, I'm just I'm just not going to deal with it anymore. So my policy now on my all of my v videos from this point forward will be I'm not going to um, uh, have my comment comments open to the public so that. Anybody can just make a, a comment. I've always had it, for many years I've had it, where your comments have to be approved. But now I don't even want the comments. Uh, just, you can watch the videos. I hope you like them. I hope you benefit from them. But I'm not going to deal with the comments, even though many of the comments are positive and encouraging. I don't want the comments section even open on my videos. I don't want the ratings, the thumbs up or thumbs down. So that's not that's no longer going to be uh, an option on my videos, on my hangouts uh, that I do nightly. I'm no longer going to post a link publicly where people are invited to participate. I'm just going to do it by myself. I'm going to teach. You can listen or you can not listen. It's up to you. Uh, 
but uh, uh, I'm tired of having some people participate and then as soon as there's a, uh, a, a minor disagreement, they, they raise it to the level of importance like it's, it's, it's essential. So I'm not going to go through that any longer. Um, uh, yeah, if you do want to contact me, yeah, no, I'm not going to give out my home phone number anymore. I'm not going to be talking to people on Skype anymore, except for uh, Brother Bill and or Sam or, or uh, Brother uh, Ben. Ben, you know who you are. Uh, it, it, I'll be happy to continue talking to them, but but other than that, uh, I'm not going to be available. I'm, and, but you can comment, you can contact me through the, the YouTube homepage uh, where you send a, a PM, a private message. And I'll, I'll look at your private messages. If you want to comment about a video I make, or if you have a question about a video I make, or you want to interact with someone, send me a private message. But I, I'm going to have zero tolerance for stupidity in the future. Uh, it, if I, if you have the kind of attitude that I've just been, you know, uh, arguing against in this video, then uh, expect me to look at your comment and then, and then uh, block you and mark you and avoid you for, uh, indefinitely. <coughs> I will continue to participate in some hangouts that uh, my friends uh, do. Uh, Brother Bill, Brother Sam, maybe some others. I will join their hangouts uh, part of the time, depending upon my schedule, if my schedule permits, uh, and on what the subject matter is. But I, I do want to participate in that. I, I may be joining a, a hangout of Brother Bill's uh, later today. But I'm not going to uh, do my hangouts in that way any longer. So... And that is because it just seems like it is so hard to find a sane Christian. Sorry. Uh, maybe you're watching this now and you say, you're perfectly sane. I hope you are. But my experience has shown me that almost all of my dealings with YouTube Christians, uh, it, eventually I come to the conclusion there's some kind of, some kind of mental instability going on there. Something's off. So, um, as I said, uh, if you do want to contact me, then you can PM me. Other than that, I'm, I'm turning off the comments and the thumbs ups and no longer posting the link to join my Hangouts. All right. Um, uh, thank you for watching. And I do appreciate uh, the those of you who are... You're not mentally disturbed people. You're normal people. You love Jesus. You love the, the gift of salvation. And you're cordial and you're reasonable and I love you. But uh, the vast majority of people I know on YouTube, I, I could not describe you in that way. So thank you for watching and bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.